This is English shorthand dictation number 273 and the dictation speed is 120 words per minute. Ready? Start. Honorable Chairman, Sir, there are some movements which are unavoidable. This is also one of those movements. Only in the agony of parting do we look into the depths of love. Today we are bidding you farewell only because it is customary. Sir, on behalf of my party and on my own behalf, I have a special regard for you. I shower upon you our thanks, appreciations and congratulations for your tenure as the chairman of this august house. Sir, there are many things to recollect. Sir, in the forests, not all animals stand and look back. Only the lion can do so. It can look back the path it traded. It alone can bring behind it all the animals in the forests in a disciplined manner. You are a lion. You can look back, for you have left very great practices. Sir, you started your life as a very good student. As a student leader, you started climbing the ladder. You never came down. You were a member of the Legislative Assembly. You became the leader of your party. You became a member of this August House. You were in the opposition bench. You were a minister. Now you decorated the post of the Vice President, which is the second highest position in this country. Sir, we had great times with you as the Chairman of this House. One thing you will also appreciate. We might have disturbed you. We might have shouted for opportunities, but at the same time, during our discourse, we have never come down the decorum of this house. You have appreciated many times that the debates in this house by all the party members are par excellence. Sir, on this occasion, I think this is the right time and right place to put on record three things. The Honorable Leader of the Opposition mentioned that only in Rajya Sabha a member can speak in any of the 22 languages in the 8th schedule of the Constitution and it was only you who brought that into action. Wherever you go, you have advocated for the regional languages to cherish. You advised everyone to protect and enrich their mother tongue, but at the same time learn some other language also. There is nothing wrong with that. Based on that alone, you have done some other things which many of our colleagues would not know, but which I would like to put on record today. Sir, there has been a customary practice and convention in the parliament. It is a British legacy. Whenever a member or a minister lays a paper on the table of the house, the convention is to say, I beg to lay on the table of the house. Sir, I am a product of the self-respect movement. I had represented to your predecessors and to the government also. But nobody bothered. Sir, I must appreciate and thank you that you removed that word. Now, with heads held high, every member and minister is just tabling the papers, not begging. They rise to lay the paper on the table of the house. Secondly, all notices we used to send to the secretariat were addressed to the Secretary General and we signed it saying yours faithfully. It does not suit a member of parliament to write to an office yours faithfully. It is not a school. I represented it to you, sir. You asked me for a substitute 
and I suggested yours sincerely. Now all our notices are having yours sincerely. I do not know about the other house. Sir, you upheld the dignity of the members and you were always very much interested in upholding the decorum and dignity of this house. Sir, we cannot forget your tenure as the chairman of this house. As my honorable friend has already requested, please write an autobiography which will be your real contribution to the posterity of this country. With these words, I conclude my speech. Mr. Chairman, sir, it is a very poignant day. I do not want to bid you farewell. I just hope that you will stay on and on. But then life has its own transitions. Sir, I want to first thank you on behalf of my party for your service to the nation, for your service to this country and for your service to this house. It has been only three years that I have come to know about you personally, but it seems like a lifetime. Time is short. Honorable Prime Minister was speaking about how you have always promoted the youth, how you have promoted the regional languages. I will not elaborate on that. I have brought evidence to the House today. The day was 7th February 2020. The day before, I had been to your chamber and you had asked me why I did not speak in my mother tongue, Uriya. The next day, I spoke in Uriya, which was my first zero-hour mention on a specific topic. You were in the chair, sir. After a few minutes, I got a brief note of appreciation from you. Though there are many evidences, I have brought this evidence because this was a note from you to me and it is a memory of a lifetime. It will stay with me as long as I am there. Sir, there are many young members who are very new to the house. I just wanted to take this opportunity as to how you promoted the young members of parliament. In August 2020, suddenly I had a phone call in the evening saying that I had been appointed to the panel of vice chairman of Rajya Sabha. I was surprised. I was only 13 months into Rajya Sabha. You said that you believed in me and asked me to keep working hard. Sir, I will not take much time. You have always been a friend of Odisha. Whenever we have brought matters of Odisha before you, you have always given us a patient hearing. Whenever there had been matters of Odisha that had to be raised in the house, you were always open to the idea of how we can develop more and more. Whenever new members of parliament from across party lines came up, you encouraged them. Sir, your presence in the chair gives us strength. Your presence in the chair inspired and motivated not only the members of parliament of Rajya Sabha, but you have also inspired and motivated every youth of the nation. I say that with a great measure of humility. As my honorable friend said, you have more than 20 years of public life left. You will continue to inspire us every day. We will continue to cherish your memories every day. With these words, I thank you for your wisdom and your leadership. Honorable Chairman Sir, I thank you for the opportunity given to me. Needless to mention, every Telugu person today is proud that this August House is chaired by a Telugu man. On behalf of 9 crore Telugu people, I say 
that you have made us really proud i speak on behalf of 9 crore telugu people we all feel proud of you